Hey guys, what's up? Crazy Puerto Rican here, finally here to review Kuroko no Basket Season 3, Episodes 22 and 23. Now, I don't like doing this for Kuroko, I like doing the review separate, but actually I did see the episode last Saturday and I was going to review it, but you know, I didn't have time, so not have time to review both, so I will. Anyway, so in episode 22, Sadine starts the fourth quarter on a 10-0 run, and it's like, damn, they, they started fast. And, you know, Kagami's in the zone. He's getting deeper in the zone. And, you know, Aomine said he with, there will they, there could be, he's the one that can beat Akashi getting deeper in the zone. And I'll explain why later. But, you know, him in the zone, he, he's able to stop a, a, a Rakuzan, basically. He's able to stop Rakuzan. And Akashi is pissed. And we get a little flashback of Akashi, of him getting into the zone. Because he's like Aomina, he just forces forces the zone open. And whenever he doesn't need his teammates. And he doesn't need him right now, anyways. Because he actually gets into the zone. And he doesn't need his teammates, he said, because... They're not doing a good job. They're on a 10-0 run. We're up by 20, now we're up by 10. How is this possible? And he gets into the zone, and when Kagami goes up to do a meteor jam, boom! Akashi stops it and blocks it. Not stops it like in the other episode that he he just that Kagami just basically missed it. He stopped it by stealing the ball from Kagami mid-air. And you're like, oh shit, it's about to get real. And then Akashi, nobody could stop Akashi, not even Kagami in the zone, because Kagami in the zone is OP, but Akashi in the zone is even more OP. So, yeah, and when that episode's ending, we get to see Aomina saying Kagami's the only one who can beat him. We gotta trust, and, you know, Sadie's like, we gotta trust in our ace, and uh, Aomina's like, he's the only one, the only way he can win as if he opens the second door to the zone. So there's a zone beyond the zone. So I kind of knew there was a zone beyond the zone because people told me, but I didn't believe it until now. When, you know, that leads into episode 23, which was amazing. Okay, so actually in the zone, he's really OP, and he's stopping Kagami. They're, they can't do anything, really. And Kuroko just tells Kagami... Why don't we give up for now? Because Kagami's standing by the second door. Why don't we give up for now? The only the one man show. Why don't we let's I got a plan to stop Akashi. And the plan was really cool. The plan is for them not to do a double team, but if not Kagami in front, Kuroko on the back, sort of like uh a different Emperor I basically. And what it does is Akashi gets by Kagami, but Kuroko knew where they were get where Akashi was going, so he was a step further, like, he was a step further than, you know, he knew what was gonna happen before Akashi knew, and Akashi can see the future and whatever, so, yeah. Anyway, so, he stops Akashi. Akashi's in the zone, let me tell you, Akashi's in the zone, Kuroko's not, and Kuroko steals the ball from Akashi, and you're like, oh! <gasps> And that and the momentum completely change right there and Sading is back in the game. It's actually a two point game now. It's 92 to 90. You're like, whoa, what happened here? You know, so after that, Akashi, you know, he's just he's just down. He's making bad passes. He sh he's shooting crazy and can't and can't buy a basket. And it's like. Holy shit, Akashi just, Akashi isn't Akashi anymore. And they're, they, Rakuzan gets a timeout, because, you know, they need it. It's 92-90 when they were up 20, so, yeah. Anyway, so, when they, they're about to sub out Akashi and uh, Miyazumi, Miyazumi, yeah, he tells Akashi, who are you, man? You're not Akashi, who are you? 
and then a voice inside Akashi's head, which as you know, Akash there's two Akashis. There's the Akashi that we saw in the Takeo arc, that's uh, re the very first episode, sorry, and uh, that he was uh, really nice and stuff without the, the eyes, and then there's the Akashi we see now. The Akashi from the Takeo arc comes out and says, you're gonna lose. You're not going to win like this. So, he, Akashi stands up without his, you know, yellow eye and red eye and says, let's win this. And right then and there, you're like, yeah, because he doesn't have the eyes anymore. He's now the, the innocent Akashi and he, we're going to win. And in the episode preview, you kind of see the next episode preview, you see how he's changed and how amazing it's gonna be this is gonna be one battle to finish and let's see how what happens Akashi's in this I mean Akashi is normal now and Kagami's in the second zone so let's see what happens anyways tell me what you guys thought about these episodes and sorry for the late review and for those assassination classroom fans I'm sorry I did, did not finish I'm not gonna finish reviewing that I'm just gonna make a full series of you because I was so down and I didn't feel like making a three episode review so sorry about that one but my hero academia is still going gonna get the reviews and uh, I haven't read the I did read the latest well the chapter a week ago I don't know if a new chapter came out I gotta check that out but yeah anyways what do you guys think about Kuroko? Leave your comments below. Remember to subscribe. Later, guys.